to our John Sweat fifth grade tree project, tree drawing. We are going to draw a basic tree today and you're going to do a step-by-step -step drawing with me just as I go. And if it's not perfect, it's okay. It's a tree. By the way, I'm Mrs. Collins. I'm the art teacher at Martinez Junior High School and I'm Lane's mom. Today, to start our project, we're gonna start with the tree trunk because it's the most important part of the tree. It's what we see, it's the biggest part. I want you to take your finger, not your pencil, and start by kind of drawing out your tree with just your finger. We're gonna have a wide tree trunk. At the bottom of your page, we're gonna have it spread out and I think we'll draw some tree roots. And then up top here, we're gonna have our tree branches and they are gonna go all the way to the edge of your piece of paper. That's really important for this project and you'll know why later when we go to color it in. Okay, let's get started with our tree trunk. Our tree trunk is mostly straight, but not like a ruler straight, right? There's bumps and it's a little wobbly and that's okay. The most important part is that as you come down to the bottom of your tree trunk, it gets wider. Notice how I'm curving out right here. A tree trunk gets wider at the bottom because that helps stabilize the tree. It's also the beginning of the roots growing into the ground. So any tree that you see, you will notice it gets wider at the ground to support that tree. And that's something you need to do to help it look more realistic. Uh, let's go ahead and jump right into doing our tree branches. Like I said, we're going to have our branches go all the way to the edge of the paper here. But if your first branches don't do that, it's okay because we're going to keep adding branches. We're gonna start with just a few main branches. These are gonna be the thickest branches of the tree, right? We go from a really thick trunk to a little bit smaller branches, to smaller branches, to even smaller branches. So let's go ahead and get started. I wanna have some just come straight out from the side here and I'm gonna take it almost to the edge of my paper. Look at my finger. It's just a little bit shy of my finger width away from the edge of the paper. So that's how close you need to get. To finish this branch, I can't leave it like that, that's just a line. I'm going to go from here to the end. And this is the most important thing I'm gonna show you right now. It is thicker near the trunk and it gets thinner at the end of a branch, always. Never give me a branch that's the same thickness the whole way. Let's do another one. I'm gonna go ahead and reach up to the sky here with a branch. And again, I'm gonna go from Thicker to thinner, every branch I draw. Put one over here. Again, I'm reaching to the sky and it's thicker and it gets thin. I think I'm gonna squeeze one here and it's thin. I'm gonna make it get wider as it gets close to the tree trunk. And then I'll have one kind of to the side again to finish the tree. So one kind of reach into the edge of the paper. Remember, it's at least that close to the edge of the paper and thick to thinner. Okay. So that's the start of our tree. That's going to be the main branches. We need to add branches to each of these branches. They can't sit like this. Doesn't look like a tree yet. So we're just going to work around our tree and add as many branches as you want, but we need to make it eventually reach the edge of the paper. So I'm going to start, I'll start here. I'm going to just draw a line out to the side. I'll go right to the edge of the paper because I'm already close. And I'm going to add another line to make that branch thick. And it's going to go from thick to thin. Remember, it's thicker and thinner. Now that line that's there doesn't need to be there. Let's erase that as we go. Do another one here, I think. I'm going to have it go to the edge of the paper again because I'm already so close. And thick to thin. So I have to get pretty skinny on that one. Let's see, I'm gonna move up here. I'm gonna add a branch to sort of fill some of this space. And it's gonna go thick to thin. Maybe one here at the end, I could go like this and reach to the side again, thick to thin. And I'll stick, well this is getting a little awkward looking, doesn't look kind of funny right there, so I'm gonna just adjust. And I'll have one, you know what I need to adjust this? And I'll have one going off the edge of the page here. And each time I'm checking, it's thicker here and thinner up there. Working around, I have a big space here. I want to fill that with some branches. I'm going to go one right here. And it's going to go thick to thin. And I'm going to erase. 
and I'll work over to the edge of this branch. And we'll stick one maybe on the end here. That's an okay way to go too. I just basically continued that line. Still working my way around this old tree. Hmm, I think I'm gonna put one here. And I'll put one going out this way. This is still a lot of space in here. So I'm gonna go back to this branch and add another one. And over here, I think I'm gonna add one. Notice trees, my tree branches, they reach up like fingers. This is my tree trunk. The branches reach up and they curve a little bit, but they're always reaching up and they're getting a little bit thinner. Every time the branch is reaching up towards the sky, towards the sunlight. So don't start making me branches that like go back towards the tree trunk. That looks weird, okay? So they're always reaching up and out. Let's keep going. I have more space here. So I'm gonna add a branch here. You're gonna add branches wherever you feel like it looks good. And over here, I feel like this little guy needs to sort of get finished. Mm, that looks weird. I don't like that. I'm going to erase it. Let's see. Maybe I'll just continue this line here to make the end of the branch. And then here, I'm going to reach out that way to connect that. And I didn't follow my own rule here. This is the same thickness the whole way, so I'm going to adjust it. Okay. We're not done yet. We got to go do that all over again. Go back to every branch you have and see if you could add on another set of branches. Let's look at this branch right here. It just kind of ends nowhere. Let's end it with another little bit of branch. Just a little one right to the edge of the page. And heck, I'll stick a branch right on here and I'll just have it go to a point. And I could put a branch here. And I could add another skinny branch right there until we bump in to the other tree branch. And then I'm gonna erase my lines. Out here, I could do another little branch. Over, let's see, here I could have another one. So keep adding on branches until you mostly fill up the page. I love to have my branches connect. When we get to the last step of this project, we're going to be coloring in each of our shapes. Now let's take a look at this for a second. What if this is the shape I have left? That's a really big, kind of awkward shape. But look over here. By connecting all these branches and I drew another branch and another branch and another branch until they all started to bump into each other, now I have a perfect shape that I've created. I'm gonna draw it again. This is the shape that I accidentally created and I'm gonna be coloring that in. That's an easier job than trying to color this in. So we're gonna keep working around the page, adding branches until all of a sudden we start seeing shapes. Let's look at this. I could add more here. That's a lot of blank space. How else could I draw in some more branches to create a shape? I think I'll add a branch reaching up right there. And now I'm going to erase that line and I have created a shape that I'm going to get to color in. The very tip of that branch, I could leave it like that or I could add little skinny branches at the very end there. And those just help me create, again, a shape and a shape that I'm going to get to color in. I'm going to keep working around my drawing and seeing if I can find ways to add branches so I have shapes to color later. until you felt like the entire sky was full. So let's remember again, I have got all my branches. We finally made them reach all the way out to the edge of my paper. I tried to make sure every branch kind of ended somewhere. So either the branches ended at the edge of the page 
or they just kind of bumped in and intersected with another branch. That way, my sky is full of shapes. The tree has made all of these shapes, kind of like triangles, that I'm going to get to color in later. I'm also going to take a second, erase out any lines that are still left where things are touching. I know there was another one here. I've lost it. Oh, there it is. Erase those things out so that our paper is clean because we're going to fill this tree later with words. At the bottom of our page, we need to add our tree roots. I'm going to go ahead and do a tree root that curves from the bottom of my trunk over to the edge of the paper again. I'll do the same on this side. It just kind of goes and it's going down a little bit and it's curving. I need to add tree roots to this tree. My roots are going to go like this. I'm going to start at the edge of the paper and I'm just going to go back up until I'm almost at the bottom of the tree. And then I'll stop. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to take a line. I'll just pick a spot. Here's a spot at the bottom of the paper. I'm going to draw a wiggly, wavy line until I bump into that tree root that I already drew. Do that a couple more times until we've put some roots down here at the bottom of this tree. Let's see. I'll put one here. And they're kind of going off the edge of the page. They look like snakes, don't they? And again, it's okay if they're not perfect doesn't matter this is just for fun do another wavy line there I think I can squeeze two more roots in. I'm gonna put one here and it goes to the edge of the page and I'm gonna put one that sort of reaches over there okay I think our tree drawing is pretty much done for the moment mm -hmm.